Hello everybody and welcome once again to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. As you can see, we are now beginning the early stages of moving all of our plants from their current location over to downstairs here in the basement in our new location where we're going to be growing them up until the point where we buy our new home and property where we will be putting them in yet again another location so what all of this moving means for these plants is one lights um, all sorts of different variable conditions like the humidity levels and temperatures down here in the basement and over the next few weeks to a few months while we are in this spot i will be addressing all of those issues and showing you guys if you happen to be going through the same process at any point with your indoor garden uh, just how to deal with those and some tips and tricks that I'll be learning along the way but in today's video we're gonna be starting out by uh, installing our first indoor light here that we're gonna be putting up for the plants this is a 90 watt three head grow light by uh, grassy land if you're familiar with the channel and the LED light reviews that I've done in the past I've had excellent results with Grossyland LED uh, along with Mars Hydro and uh, Nilo LED lights. Uh, that's basically my top three lights and companies that I've dealt with in the past. They've had incredible products and I've just absolutely loved the results. Again, this is a 90 watt LED light that we're going to be putting down here. Uh, up until the point where we get some bigger lights in here because I will be having all of my succulents and cacti and everything else that we have been growing right up against windows in this location here. We're going to need some bigger lights. But for now, this 90 watt is definitely going to help and I will keep it down here for some of the lower light requirement plants um, that just don't need quite as much such as this Calathea. Um, and then our Hoya plant, for example, that's another one that doesn't require as much light. So this light is going to be great. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing it, showing you all the accessories that come with it, um, installing it here in the garden, and also displaying some of the cool functions it has. That way, if you have some plants that seem like they're struggling a little bit, um, you can pick up a light like this. I will have the link in the description below for you to check out. Otherwise, there's all sorts of other options that are super cheap and really affordable for us indoor gardeners to get introduced into LED lighting um, for the supplemental needs that a lot of our plants um, are just lacking because you just don't have access to enough window space for all of your plants because you're so obsessed because you keep on getting more and more plants. Yeah, we run into that problem. Let's open this up. Always be careful when opening packages. If you're using a knife, that can be dangerous. You can cut yourselves. Just have to let you guys know. Opening it up, you've got a little printout user manual. In the past, usually they have a whole booklet, but being that this is just a, a nice little cheap light, I'm sure that's why they decided to go with this. This manual has all of the specifications, features, applications, some cautions. They've also got uh, contact information on there. If you do have some issues with that, reach out to their customer service. They'll be more than happy to take care of you guys and help you out if you have any issues whatsoever. Here we have the three bulbs. You can see it's like the candelabra type base. It's not your standard like E23 base there. It's a smaller one. All three of them made for the fixture. You have your power source. And then the actual fixture itself. One thing one thing that I wanted to talk about right away as to why I think this is going to be a superior product is because of this right here. You see it's got a vice grip on there for actually securing it. And it actually gets uh, quite large too. 
about two and a half, almost three inches there total when it's all the way opened up. So in this case, it's gonna work perfectly mounting right on our boards here that we built this shelf out of um, several years ago when we made this. It's gonna work great. So that is definitely a huge plus when working with this product is because if you've owned any of these lights in the past, like I have, I actually have several going um, where we're, we were growing all of our plants, now we're moving everything over to here. But um, I do have several of them just like this. It's got like the three heads, but they actually clamp on. So it just uses a spring and a clamp. And that I've found just not to be adequate enough after a long enough period of time that spring starts to give out a little bit and it will lean over or sometimes even fall off of what you originally mounted it to. So right off the bat, um, that's something that you guys could really look at when checking out this light compared to others. I think is going to be one of the biggest pros to this one is the mounting means. It's definitely gonna be a lot better than most other lights on the market. So to get this thing up and running, all you have to do is take your main 120 supply that plugs right into a receptacle in your home and plug this onto your light right here and then attach it up to wherever you need to and put the bulbs in as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right now. Well, that was easy enough. Now we will turn the light on. Um, this thing has several different features to it. You have six different lighting levels for the light. Then you can also control how many lights you have on. We have three lights on, two lights on, and one light on. There is a smart timer that you can set for, I believe it's three, yep, three, six, and 12 hours. So when you turn that timer on, it's going to be on for said period of time, and then it will turn off and also turn on at the same time of the day as you turned it on uh, the following day. So it's going to be a kind of like a smart timer. It's going off at the same time every day for your selected period of time. The one thing that I don't understand on this is it says there's a spectral switch, the one where I was saying it's either all three lights, two lights, or one light. Um, it says red light on, blue light on, or both lights on. But looking at these LED boards themselves, I it appears to me like they're all the same boards producing the same wavelengths of light. So if you would want to, or are using various stages of growth, um, or need various stages of growth when growing your plants, you could put in separate bulbs, like you could do a red bulb and a blue bulb um, of various wavelengths, so you could then control it that way. But otherwise, the way it sits like this, um, that spectral switch, I don't think is really quite necessary, but like I described it before, it's kind of cool that you can control how many lights you want on. Just in case you've only got a couple of plants and don't need that much light, um, that's one way to do it besides adjusting the actual um, power output of that light, like we said before with the brightness adjustment. By the way, those adjustments are 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100% on this light here. So what can you grow with a 90 watt LED grow light? Well, there's all sorts of plants. Most indoor house plants are going to be okay with a 90 watt LED grow light like this one. Some of them like a higher light requirement succulents or cacti 
might be pushing it a little bit, but in most cases, you're not gonna be growing in a basement like I am. You will be out by some indirect light sources, by some windows or patio doors or something else like that. So this 90 watt light is going to be plenty enough light for almost all of your needs unless you are growing some higher light requirement indoor house plants or some vegetables like tomatoes and other things like that. Then you're going to need a um, higher wattage LED light that's gonna be putting out a higher par value for your plants. Um, that 90 watts not gonna do it, but like I said, most of you guys will find plenty adequate growth out of this 90 watt LED grow light. In fact, I'm kind of excited to see how my plants do over the next few weeks with just this 90 watt LED grow light. We have some larger lights here, but I just want to test this out and to see how they're all doing before I start drawing more power, before I start getting more lights, which cost more money. Granted, it's very little because it's an LED light. They draw hardly anything, but I want to see how long this 90 watt will sustain them or if there's any ill effects after several weeks. Um, looking at all of the specifications, it provides the right wavelengths and I think it's gonna be plenty of light for almost all of our plants. Maybe not this uh, uh, Echeveria chihuahuanensis, that might be a little bit lacking as well as our Guatemalense Monstros EP1, uh, our curly sue cactus, that might be lacking a little bit because that requires pretty high light. Um, but otherwise, I think everything will be totally a-okay. And I'm excited to test this thing out even further. Stay tuned as we document and learn how to grow so many indoor plants uh, downstairs in a dry, cold basement it's definitely going to be a challenge for me i hope you guys stay tuned because it's going to be pretty exciting and as i said in my last video we have a ton of outdoor gardening come up coming up um, we just released our raspberry bramble maintenance video which i apologize for the bad audio i actually had to redub over the entire thing because the wind noise was so bad, all you could hear was a, a couple of words here and there, and then <laughs> So I started editing the video and found out the audio was so bad, I didn't think it would be, but it was, and yet I already did all of the trimming and pruning, so I can't go back and redo it all again. So I just had to dub over with my voice, which sounds kind of funny, but please forgive me on that one go check it out if you haven't already we've got a ton more videos like that one coming up without the wind noise a ton of outdoor gardening vegetables uh perennial flowers we have all sorts of trees a couple new fruit trees as well um all kinds of stuff that i'm really excited to bring to you guys this year because it is going to be one of the biggest years yet in wisconsin wonder garden and i'm so excited to share it all with you guys if you would like to see more click this box up here to move on to the next video thank you guys once again for watching i hope you're having a great gardening adventure we'll see you in the next video